Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to unlock the bootloader and root our Honor 7X, specifically the L21 model. This is TK and this is XDA TV. First thing we need to do on our device, we need to do a couple of things to actually turn them on. We need to get developer options turned on. So we go under about device, click the build number about 10 times, seven to 10 times till it tells you you are a developer. And then you'll see this option show up in your settings. Turn on a couple of options. We need to turn on OEM unlocking and that's just needs to make sure that it's turned on as well as USB debugging. So first turn on developer options. Second, turn on OEM unlocking and third, turn on USB debugging. These three have to be turned on. Otherwise, we won't be able to interface with this. And we'll actually have to repeat one of these steps later once we unlock the bootloader. Uh, be aware that once you do all of this, the information on your device is going to be wiped. Any settings, any features, it's going to be reset. So back up everything that you have on this device before you start. On the PC, we just need to validate that the system is connected. Uh, you do need to have uh, ADB. I'll give you guys a link to the minimal ADB uh, installation and then you'll be able to access it. So I'll just need to do ADB devices. And as long as I can get, uh, see here that there's a serial number next to the word device, I am in. Uh, if it's not, it'll prompt you on the device to authenticate it. And then it'll say, yes, allow the device to connect via audio ADB. And that's pretty much the step one that you need to do because without this, we can't proceed. The next step we need to do is we need to go to the emui.huawei.com website and then click the option that says unlock. If you don't have an account in here, log in with your account. If you're using your Huawei ID uh, login account, you're going to be prompted uh, and it'll transfer you to another uh, to another link. But at the end, you're going to land into a page similar to this one. It's going to ask you if you're running it before or after EMUI. So we are running since EMUI 5.0, since we have 5.1 on our 7X. We need to copy the serial number, the product IMEI, and the product ID. Product ID and the serial number could be obtained by putting in this code directly into your dialer and then the two numbers will show up. The ser and then as far as the IMEI, for me at least, uh, the first IMEI, even though it's saying main, did not work for me, I was able to use the secondary IMEI. So try one or the other and then of course you need to put this uh, little capture code there. Once you're done, you say commit and it's going to spit out a code for you. That's how we're going to be able to unlock our device. In command, what we need to do now is ADB reboot bootloader and once you do that you'll notice that the device boots back up and you get this little andy sitting right there and it'll actually say bootloader so it says phone lock frp unlock and we're going to go through that option and then at this point all we need to do is put in the standard command that you guys have probably already seen many times before which is fast boot oem unlock so for me, I pressed it, uh, posted this code and the, my code is actually going to be unique to my device. Your code is going to be unique to yours. Back on the device, you're going to be getting this screen. This is our standard OEM unlock or basically just, you know, the unlocking process. So here it says may void your warranty. So it does not necessarily mean that it will. Uh, using the volume rocker, you go up and down. You just move it up to the word yes. And we're going to go ahead and hit OK. Now, at this point, the device is going to wipe itself clean. It's going to reset and it's going to unlock the bootloader. And we're actually going to be greeted with this little message every time we boot up the device. We're going to Now, as I mentioned to you guys, the device is definitely swiped now and it's clean. Now, before I go through and set up any additional things, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to skip through this process. This is going to be clean. The device now is unlocked. So we're going to go ahead and into settings, scroll to the bottom. You'll notice the developer option went away. So we're going to go about phone one more time, go to build number, do that 10 times. This is you are now a developer. We'll go back advanced, and then developer options. Now, OEM unlock for the most part is not going to be touched anymore, so we're going to leave that the way it is. All we need to do is go back in here and turn on USB debugging. It's going to ask us for here, allow. And then you get this option, just click always, click OK. And now our device can communicate with the PC. We'll do ADB devices. And again, we'll get back with the same serial number. So next thing we need to do now is go back into the bootloader and we need to basically flash that twerp recovery. So we're going to go into ADB, reboot, loader will allow it to go through it's going to restart our device so here's the two files that we have we have the recovery and the super sue the main thing you want to do is i just renamed the recovery from when we downloaded it and again the links will be in the description below and i'm actually going to put it in the same directory as my command prompt because it needs to be in the same folder At this point it's sitting in the same folder as where this command prompt is we're going to say fast boot flash 
recovery. Then we're going to say recov, hit the tab, and it'll find it. So it's going to say flash, fast boot flash recovery, recovery that image, and that's the actual file. Hit enter. It's going to go through the process. So at this point on this, uh, the device already has, uh, the, so you notice right here it says phone is unlocked, FRP is unlocked. So all we need to do now is to restart the device and go into our recovery. And to do that, we need to do volume up and power. So I'm going to press and hold until the device shuts down. Once that's done, I'm going to press the uh, volume up and wait for it to get into recovery. So you'll notice the twerp recovery did flash correctly. We have it installed. And now we're going to say allow modifications. So what we're going to do here is just say reboot system and then we're going to go in and then uh, transfer over that super su file so that we can flash it so at this stage we will just say allow access and on our pc we just need to copy the super su file and we're going to copy it actually to the sd card there's a little bit of an issue right now with decrypting the internal storage with twerp so just to kind of circumvent that issue we go into our honor 7x so and then we'll go into our sd card and then all we're going to do here is paste this file so i already have it in there i don't need to paste it again just paste it into your sd card and make sure there's an sd card that's uh, obviously not full and you'll be able to access so on our phone all we need to do here is hit the power button hit restart and restart once the screen goes dark, we're going to be pressing volume up right there, volume up and power, and that's going to take us into recovery. Once the screen lights up, give it a second, release power, keep the volume up, and then now we have team win recovery. Uh, and at this point, just only thing you want to do is swipe to allow modification. And under mount, we need to make sure that micro SD card is uh, connected so that we can select it as a storage. We'll turn back, we'll go install. Now, by default, you're noticing this is all jarbled. You'll say select storage, switch over to the SD card. It's recognized. I'll click OK. Here's my file. I'm going to select it and I'm going to just say swipe. I'm going to allow it to go through and root our device. And once we're done with this, there's only one more step before we have to just reboot the device and then we're done. And at this point, you just say wipe cache and Dalvik. Click yes and then reboot system. So now that our device is booted up, we're pretty much set. We have Super Sue that's right there on the home screen. We'll just say start. Uh, this, again, all of, we're going to say uh, no text at this point. There's no applications installed. There's nothing really in there. There's no logs and settings, of course. You can go in there. I'm going to go uh, down to the home screen. And I'm downloading right there. There should be an application. I'm going to move this one already to the main home screen for us to check. And this is just a basic root checking application. So the main thing that this is going to show us is that we are rooted and it's going to ask for that permission. It's going to say, yeah, get started, get started, forget on. Let's go. So let's say verify. It's going to ask us for a root. And this is the permission request. We'll say grant and give it a second. Congratulations, root access is probably installed on this device. Hopefully the process was not that complicated. Just be aware you are going to lose your data. Once you have that uh, unlocked, install twerp, and then of course mounting uh, the SD card and then using the file off of the SD card, you're pretty much set. Your device is rooted. And again, anything you start using on this device from now on is there, it's safe. It's just you lose everything when you unlock the bootloader. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support. Check out my channel. I'll give you guys information again in the links below. Um, and, you know, we'll see you guys in the next video.